at six. You may have seen them, a new transportation trend in Indy. People are turning to electric scooters to get around. Two companies now competing, working for you. RTV6's Graham Hunter shows us how some people are finding a way to make money off of these scooters. Graham. Well, Matt, the City County Council is looking at a potential ban on these scooters, but boy, you sure wouldn't know it if you come downtown. We've seen these things absolutely everywhere with companies like Bird and Lime already starting to operate here in the downtown area. Now, a Lime Company spokesman tells me they've been working with the city for several months to make sure they were okay to move in, but once Bird scooters started operating, Lime quickly moved to get some scooters on the ground around town. They brought about 400 scooters. They're keeping them charged and on the road by crowdsourcing that work and paying people to pick the scooters up. The spokesman I talked to said about 25 to 30 people came in Saturday and were given five charging cords to use at home to plug the scooters in. We talked to one man who's working on it as what's known as a juicer. You take them home, you set them up wherever you've got space, like a garage and then you can go out and get scooters and bring them back, plug them in and charge them. It takes about three to five hours to charge a scooter. And then once it's charged, you can uh, take it back out to, to the street. The app shows you places where you can leave them. Mm -hmm. And then you, you leave them and check them in with the app, and then you get paid by direct deposit a few days later. There is an ordinance going through City County Council right now that would ban bicycle dockless bicycle share programs. Right now, riders can just leave these scooters wherever they are once they're done with them. Now, that ordinance is up for discussion in Public Works Committee on Thursday. The folks at Lyme tell me they're confident they will be able to continue operating here in Indianapolis in the future. We're reporting live from downtown Indianapolis, Graham Hunter, RTV6.